Hello guys, so 2024 and movies was kind of a mixed bag when it came to successful movies. But every year you have this hugely anticipated movie that's a failure. It just happens, you know. It isn't like in the 2000s where every hugely anticipated movie is very successful. Ever since like 2016 we have at least one of those like Batman vs Superman being like the first example. And then 2013 and 2019 had huge sequels just bomb and flop. But since the 2024, all of like, the safe movies that actually made money, actually made money. Okay. Oh, Cry Place, the new Cry Place movie's coming out. Oh, right, we, we were, the people go see that. Deadpool movie, and people went to go see that. Inside Out, people went to go see that. No movie besides Furiosa so, and Transformers 1 really underperformed. Okay. And of course, non franchise movies continue to underperform. Or Madame Web, what's no one like that movie. But Joker 2. No one watched this, and this was a movie that I think people weren't really excited for. And we have been warning Hollywood for ye for the past couple of years that this movie was not was unnecessary. So basically, social media said said basically why they didn't like this movie, you know. And they say they said the screaming before, so everyone's leaving, everyone's leaving. Oh, it can't be that bad, you know. And it says, what the f is this? Time follows this crap is garbage. Don't, st don't waste your time. Two hours. I'm never getting back. Don't waste your time. Yeah. And yeah. No one really liked this movie. Okay. No one liked this movie. It is a. This is going to go down in the history books. It's one of the biggest box office blunders of all time. Okay. You know. 2023 had a few. The Marvels being a historical failure for Disney. And the Adon the Dow of Destiny also being a historical failure for Disney. The Flash being one of the biggest superhero flops of all time, until the Marvels came out, obviously, but, you know, 2023 had a very horrible summer with a lot of major movies not really making that much money, you know, Transformers didn't make that much money, you know, the Real Mermaid remake didn't make any money, um, actually, no, no, neither of those movies made money back, and, of course, you had, like, the Flash do, like, extremely horrible Indiana Zones, you know, major franchises just not making money. And then later on, you had Oppenheim and Barbie. If it wasn't for those two movies, 2023 would have been one of the worst summers since the pre-pandemic. Okay. You know. Of course, you can say, oh, but the 2021 summer was worse. But that was a, the fears of that's opening back up. You know, there wasn't really a good straight of movies that year either. As well, same thing. You know, 20, in 2022, obviously, it was much better. And 2024 is obviously an approval over, you know, 2023's box office, which was abysmal. Okay, we had ve several very successful movies, including Cry Place, uh, Bad Boys. You know, movies that, you know, sequels that would be safe bets for massive box office wins. But, Joker 2. Obviously, it's not a, um... Summer release, it came out in October. But... A lot of people said, why wasn't Margaret Robbie in it? Like, this was the, this, Margaret Robbie was a per, was a person that was born to be Howie Quinn. And it's funny, they made Lady Gaga Howie Quinn, like, really? You know, and this movie was just so unnecessary. Okay. He as well. Okay. Yeah. And it's just, why did they make Lady Gaga Howie Quinn? It's like, And a lot of people really don't like this movie. This movie only opened like forty-seven million dollars. Yes, they say it's forty million million, but actually only opened to forty-seven million. We talked about that yesterday, and it just seems that Joker too. It's just like there's no interest in this movie at all. Okay, this is a movie people really don't care all too much about. Yeah, and Joker two is a massive, massive failure for Hollywood. Okay. You know, you turn a cult classic movie that people loved and ruin it. That's all I really have to say. And this is probably the biggest theoretical failure of this year. Okay, I talked about the biggest movie failure of this year. I put a poll out and someone asked for Mega Man 2. I had to remind them that we only counted theoretical releases. We're not counting, you know, Netflix streaming only releases. I just don't know how much money those movies made. Okay. With the box office, you could, you could have, we have a model 
for how successful a movie is. I haven't put in Joker 2 yet. I'll probably update in the next couple of days. But there is no interest for Joker 2. This movie is a flop and a failure. Okay. And that's about this video here. And goodbye.